Well, I think I may have done this before, but maybe not in the details I'm going to go into. Um, let me give you a bit of history of me first, so that you understand. Um, I, when I grew up, I was uh, an apprentice electrical engineer, worked my way through that, got into computers. However, all the time during this, um, I couldn't afford to pay people to fix my vehicles, so I fixed them myself. I did once take uh, my Mini, as it was, to a local shop and had them replace the tie rod ends, track rod ends, whatever you want to call them, uh, because I didn't know how to do it. Sounds stupid now, but hey, I was a young, gosh, what was I? Hmm. 20 year old, something like that, I'm not sure. However, they replaced those uh, tie rod ends, track rod ends, and this was way back in the midst of time, because I'm an old fart now. Uh, it was probably in the, in the early, no, late 60s probably. Anyway, um, in, in doing the job, um, they fractured one of my brake lines. They were so stupid, and I don't know how they did it, but they fractured a brake line. And I go down the road with my buddy, because my buddy, you know, is uh, stupid like me, and we're young, and we're having fun, and we nearly didn't have any more fun. Uh, I came up to a, a turning, uh, put my foot on the brake, and shit happened. It just pumped the brake fluid, obviously, out of the fracture that they had created. So, uh, you know, I, I go back there and I complain, and they fix it, and then charge me for the brake fluid, saying, well, you know, the brake line was weak. Well, it wasn't weak until the mechanic hit it with his wrench and fucking fractured it. So this, this is where I'm going on this, that there are um, mechanics out there that are fucking morons. Now, as I said, um, I, I went through as an electrical engineer, an engineer, electrical engineer, uh, went into computers, but I've always had to fix my cars, and I worked in a Jaguar restoration shop in the UK. And uh, ever since I've been retired, I have been fixing people's cars, even though they're modern cars and I hate them because they're all full of fucking plastic and shit. But I do, uh, I do it and I do it right. There are so many bad mechanics out there, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. I mean, like everybody, I look on YouTube and I, uh, I, I watch what other um, shops do. The, I guess the, the, the adage is you pay peanuts, you get fucking monkeys. These fast lube places are the worst in my book, in my book. And I'm not going to name any particular ones other than well, get out on, the, on, the, on YouTube and, and look them up yourself. Um, they are paid very little. These people are not mechanics. They have no clue what they're doing. Now, I say that without most of them, and, and, and I want to say most of them don't have a clue what they're fucking doing. You know, and you go in there for an oil change and they'll say, well, oh, you need a new air filter, you need a, a fuel injection flush, you need this, you need that. You need... And if you've got a pair of tits, you're vulnerable to it. Um, and that, that, that is... <laughs> That is disgraceful. Also, these brake places like Brake Masters and Brakes Plus and whatever. You know, you take your car in there, or well, not me, uh, the girls particularly take their cars in there for a brake job because they heard a squib. Fine, you know, so it, it does need new brakes. Well, you need new brakes, you need new calipers, you need new rotors, we need to flush the system, and oh, by the way, did you know you need blah, 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 blah. And they give them a bill of like fifteen hundred dollars. Um, it's it's a joke, and, and I'm I'm sorry to say that one of the um, one of the jobs I had was working at AutoZone for a while. Uh, it was just a way of bringing in a few extra bucks, and it was great. Loved it. But the biggest um, thing that I dealt with on, on oil change type things 
was through Walmart. They didn't know what the hell they were doing. And I'm sorry, Walmart, but you know, that, that, it's the truth. I would have customers come in and say, I need two oversized drain plugs for a blah, 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 and a blah, blah, blah. What, what, why, why do you need two? Where did you go, Walmart? And you know, and I just kind of threw that out there and they went, yeah. Oh, great. So they stripped the drain plugs. It's not unknown for these fast lube places, A, not to put the filter back in, B, not to tighten up the drain plug, or C, if they actually are allowed under the bonnet and, and get near the air filter to fuck that up. It, it's, it's not right, um, but it happens. And if you've got a pair of tits, it's even worse. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again. I had two customers come to me, both very nice ladies, saying, Gary, I've just been to and they're an oil change place, a tire place, whatever, and they say I need fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars worth of work done on my car. Okay, what's the list? And they, they give me the piece of paper and I look at it and go, All right, let me check it out. Let me see if any of what they're saying is true. Out of these two customers that were recent, one needed absolutely nothing done. Zero. They looked at the myelometer and said, well, you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that, you need this. They didn't actually check it. The second one, she came to me and said, Gary, they tell me I need, you know, $2,000 worth of work. And they listed various things. One of the things they listed that was correct was the front struts needed replacement. Uh, I think I probably, with parts, charged her around three to four hundred dollars, not the two thousand that this company wanted. So, ladies, gentlemen, if you have breasts, look out. If you don't know what you're doing with a car, don't trust these places, please. Uh, you're better off going to AutoZone or uh, O'Reilly's or pet boys and saying, hey, does one of your guys do mechanical work on the side, by the way? Because more often than not, they will be a darn sight better. Or you go to a proper garage, not one of these, you know, in and out fast places, you know, do your brakes, do your oil change, you know, um, change your windshield, whatever. Those are just my bitches on this. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna throw that out there. Uh, and if you live in Queen Creek area, Hey, I fix shit.